Hi friends, how are you? You are joining me post smoothie run this morning. I had a buy one, get one <laughs> deal. So I finished with this one. This one is fully melted. I'm going to take it home and put it in the freezer for a snack later. But I love just sitting in my car and decompressing. And that's what I just finished with. I have this cute little journal that I got from Dollar General a couple months ago. It has little bumblebees on it. Beehive, right? So I have this super extensive to-do list that keeps growing. But every morning I try to make it a habit to revisit my list and check things off. And I'd be so proud of the work that I've done. So if you're wondering why I'm sitting here with glasses, because I just finished the work. I had my shades on because I was driving. Hey, girl, how are you? I'm sitting in a church parking lot. That's one of the most peaceful places. And they got good shade trees. Because this Georgia sun, honey, I don't know what it's doing. I'm going to make one more pit stop to my local library to recheck out this book that I supposed to have been reading. It's called The Black Church. Um, hopefully they let me recheck it out. I have a library fine of like $5 because this is overdue. I was like, um, I could look at it as I'm renting this versus I didn't want to buy it because if I buy it, it'll definitely sit long. But if I know I have a deadline to read it, I'll get it done. So I'm on a mission this morning, okay? I think they put something in my smoothie, a little power uh, protein type stuff. I don't know. I was just trying to use my free coupon, okay? Hello, Coach Brenda. How are you? So if y'all hear a lot of noise, honey, I am right outside of downtown and this is where all the eateries are like i'm sitting here like inhaling barbecue somebody smoking weed nearby too <laughs> i live in the hood can't take the hood out of us it's, it's the bougie hood but you know um and then of course the airplanes are flying overhead because we are one exit away from the largest airport in the world um, of course, the church people are coming and going. Train is coming and going. Marta train is coming and going. People are coming and going. Cars are coming and going. Pets are coming and going. It's a lot going on. So the city is a buzz. I got out to uh, say that I got out. Okay. So I just wanted to come on and uh, do a quick live since I uh, have accomplished some good stuff off of my to do list today. I'm doing one thing every day in my business to guarantee growth. Have you ever implemented something like that? Like when you really have a goal you're working toward? So I have signed up for an accountability group. Um, we're actually about three, two and a half weeks into a 12 week process. There's another group that I'm in that wraps up in two weeks. Um, and then I wanna say I'm a part of something else that is not coming to mind or either something else is about to start. <laughs> but I try to hold myself accountable and make sure I'm getting support, asking for and receiving the help that I need to help stay true to my goals and my commitment to show up as Dr. AJ Austin, founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training LLC. I thought I had on my, I don't know which one this is. I got on something. I don't know. I thought this was my, it, I think it's one of my coaching, <laughs> one of my coaching hoodies that has smoothie spilt on it now. This is like a mango, ginger, spinach. That was really good. Surprisingly good. It made me feel less guilty because I have these same ingredients at my home right now. Um, but I did get out and buy a $6 smoothie and got a $6 smoothie for free. So I'm justifying. Oh, it's only like $3 when you look at it like that. Two for a one. Yeah, no. So anyway, I wanted to jump on and talk about um, healing before you help because it is an important topic if you're considering becoming a professionally trained, skilled, qualified black woman, Christian, certified life coach with me anytime soon. For example, in the upcoming five-day Future Black Life Coach Masterclass that's taking place over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. Again, www dot future black life coaches dot com i'll type it in our comments if facebook will let me it looks a little different here today so hopefully i'm spelling it right future black life coaches dot com i'm gonna type it in and maybe it'll let me there we go yay okay put it in there let's see if it'll let me pin it and there we go. It's pinned below futureblacklifecoaches.com. If you're not 
a certified life coach or if you are a person who has been through a certification but you have not done anything with it in years head over to futureblacklifecoaches.com we have a complimentary coaching community community we have a vip members only access to an upcoming five-day future black life coach training masterclass that's taking place next week on monday march 21st through friday march 25th where i'm going to show up once a day every day from 6 p.m to about 7 ish p.m eastern standard time to give you tips tools and tidbits on like the characteristics of a coach coaching qualities you're going to take a black life coach quiz you're going to hear about what to look for when you're considering getting certified so i'm going to give you a certification checklist for coaches we're going to talk about some of the special requirements for black women of faith who are becoming coaches um, especially those of us who are from the church background you know you were raised in church you went to church monday through monday most of the time you can complete a scripture or a cliche that's said over the pulpit with your eyes closed or in your sleep. Um, it's something to consider when you come join us because we are a different breed. We are a more sophisticated clientele. We are educated. We're certified in other areas. Y'all come credentialed up. Y'all have degrees and all of these accomplishments in your life already and you just want that extra seal and stamp of approval for being a professionally trained skilled qualified certified life coach because you understand that there's a call on your life there's an itch in your heart that you just are ready to scratch and you know that you want to live deeper in the purpose that God has called you here to do on the earth that's how I felt so often on a daily basis before I got heavy into coaching and I would wake up and be like, God, I know there's more than me just sleeping all day, waking up, worrying about money, stressing out about bills, trying to hustle and come up with how to survive in life. And little did I know, great is thy faithfulness. Okay, so God has blessed me to bring Life Coach Certification Online for Black Women of Faith over the last two years. We have a roster of over 50 coaches who have trained with me specifically online in either our live or live stream uh, or self-study, home study course for Black Women of Faith. And so um, I'm excited because our coaches are worldwide. We're building a legacy that lasts beyond us, beyond where we are. We're helping future generations to come, generations of our children, our our family, and other coaches. And so growing up in the church, we know this term called church hurt. And church hurt is where usually you're young or you're, you're, you're a babe in Christ and you get saved and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I've finally done this. I have laid down my sins and my burdens. I've repented. I've accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. My life is going to be the bomb. It's going to be squeaky clean, peachy keen. Nothing's going to stop me. Now I'm on fire for God. I'm going to go out and make disciples of men and preach to the nations at all four corners of the earth. And then you meet other humans in the church. And somebody says something or does something and it just rubs you the wrong way. It rubs you right on back out of the church, right on back into the streets, <laughs> right on in a backslidden position where you like, oh, I can't stay in church. I can't stay in church. People, y'all get on my nerves. I don't even like God no more. I don't believe in God. Matter of fact, I ain't even no Christian. You denounce the full religion. You got an attitude anytime somebody talk about Bible prayer scripture jesus church folks saints any type of deacon elder rep and you just have this traumatic flashback of what had happened to you and i'm not making light of the situation this is just the tip of the iceberg that we know as church hurt church hurt goes very deep i too have experienced church hurt to where i was involved in somewhat of a cultish experience Y'all don't know that part of my story because I ain't ready to tell it yet because I'm still a little bit 
uh, angry. Okay. But God has healed me to where I have my own personal relationship with God. I still learn. I still love the Lord. I'm still saved. I'm still a leader in and out of the church. Um, I have joined other churches. I have joined other movements for Christ online and offline. I'm still doing what God has called me to do in a traditional and non-traditional way, bringing the ministry of life coaching to black women of faith specifically who can resonate with that church hurt um, has allowed me to do my part port that port that portion and that part that port uh, in the great commission of making disciples of men teaching and preaching the gospel sharing the good news witnessing all the things because you just never know who's watching you so regardless of what you've been through in church regardless of what had happened your walk is always being watched so my witness is clean my watch is my walk is clean i'm still you know witnessing and, and bringing people on into the kingdom of god and i thank god for alternatives i thank god for modern day upgrades that allow online ministers to reach the masses even greater outside of the four walls and that was a prophecy i got all my life you are bigger than the church your ministry exceeds the church and for a long time, I didn't quite understand what that meant, but now I get it a little bit. I think it's a whole lot more to come, but for the most part, we got the foundation set and I get it. So I'm moving forward, but only with women like you who too can resonate with a little bit of church hurt. Well, now in the coaching industry, because we do have a lot of church hurt, black women and men and children, um, there's a need y'all. There's a reason God delivered us from what we've been through. There's a reason you're here today. There's a reason that you clicked on this video. There's something about me you resonate with. A lot of you say, I love your spirit. One lady emailed me yesterday. She said, you're so gorgeous. I love your energy. I just know your personality does well in your video marketing. And it does because you guys love how crazy I am, like sitting here with two pairs of glasses on right now. And I ain't going to take them off because I'm about to go. I got to use the bathroom. But I just wanted to jump on to talk about healing before you help. Because, yes, we've been through church hurt. Now we're in an industry of those church hurt people. And, again, you may be one of them. I am slash was one of them. We're all in a healing phase, in our own healing processes, in our own deeper relationship building with the Lord. And that's your business. I train a lot of women who say, you know, I want my walk to be deeper or my walk, it looks a little bit different than the typical Christians. I'm not here to judge you. That's between you and Jesus. I'm here to certify you as a coach so you can get this work out into the world that God has called you to do. What he does during that process, again, it's a private, intimate moment between you and your heavenly father. Okay. I'm here to pray with you, pray for you, lift you up. I am, I would not call myself the model Christian. <laughs> I am not perfect. None of us are because we have been hurt and we've also done a little bit of hurting, you know, whether it's like me just being blunt to where you don't care if it offends somebody, you just going to tell the truth and then go pray and repent later. And you've gotten better over time or <laughs> you just blatantly was like, okay, I'm gonna get my revenge. I know God said vengeance is mine, but Jesus, I need to feel better right now. Getting a little hot. I'm preaching y'all. Let me uh, take my jacket off. <laughs> so I'm about to go in a minute. But one thing I realized, let me close my door so she can stop beeping, um, is that because we have experienced church hurt, we're also in an industry of those church hurt people who are now bringing that version of themselves into coaching. And so what that looks like is, my lips dry too. Y'all got to bear with me. This is the reality TV of coaching. Welcome to my world. Again, if you're new here, hey girl, I'm Dr. AJ Austin. Now you can see my shirt. Founder of the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC. Sitting here chilling in the Honda. I heard word on the street was y'all like when I go live in the Honda. So that's what I'm doing. Y'all hear all the commotion in the background. Airplanes louder than my voice, but hopefully you leaning in and listening and taking notes, okay? So I train black women of faith to become certified life coaches online in one day 
through our one day black woman Christian life coach certification training program. And we have an upcoming five day future black life coach masterclass that's taking place live in our, our complimentary coaching community. When you activate your membership over at future black life coaches.com again, www.futureblacklifecoaches.com. It's pinned in the comments here on Facebook. You can click it. Please answer the questions y'all they come to me and i determine if y'all get me or my assistant okay so if you fill out the questions just know a conversation with me is coming and uh, you get to come on into the complimentary coaching community and join us next week for five whole days for our future black life coach masterclass where we're going to really dive in to what coaching is because a lot of people think coaching is counseling so you have these people who have experienced hurt personally they've in inflicted hurt personally and we're all again on our healing paths and for me life coaching was a part of that healing life coaching came into my life about 2013 when I got certified as a matter of fact I have a nine-year anniversary coming up next month on April 27th I'm looking forward to celebrating that and doing something special but when I realized that coaching was what I had went to school for I started out in psychology at Clark Atlanta University um, and then I ended up getting a degree from Mercer University in training and development. And I'm glad I did because one thing I did not know was that I would still be teaching the, the aspects of psychology, some of them, which is human behavior, the study of human behavior, the study of human relationships. And that would now look like coaching. And so, of course, you don't have to have a degree to be a coach. Um, although I have a degree in uh, training and development. I am working on a master's in life coaching just to see what the universities are teaching about coaching because it's the theoretical side, but I am a master life coach certification trainer with over six years experience in this uh, training industry. And so I share that because that is so different than sitting in a classroom and reading a textbook. It's the practical side of coaching where you're actually getting out and practicing. It's the practicum where you get your hands dirty. You're out in the field. You're doing that field ministry, you know, where you're actually coaching people, helping people, learning what you like about coaching, learning what you don't like about coaching, learning what type of coaching clients you really prefer to work with. And that usually comes from people who can resonate with your story. So if you've experienced church hurt or if you've experienced something called coach hurt where we have a lot of people in the life coaching industry because it's such a vast industry that it's not regulated it's not policed and so some people just one day automatically decide to call themselves a coach and they get out and they're quote-unquote helping people but again remember we most of us for the most part have been through some form of church hurt so you have hurting people quote-unquote helping people but it's not really help. Because if you have not been professionally trained, if you're not skilled in this area, if you have not been called to this area, coaching ain't nothing to play with, okay? It's a ministry, just like going out to evangelize and minister the gospel. Coaching comes from a deeper calling, a deeper connection with your story of hurt, of struggle, of success, of survival. Now you have a solution. You have a way, a system that helps people come out of what you just came through. That's how you can look at coaching. So, for example, if you have been following me or even if you knew here, you may be a little familiar with my story about going from the death of my mom and my divorce happening the same day. You may be familiar with the documentary I just released called Lady of Legacy. And Legacy is an acronym. stands for Ladies Empowering Generations and Coaching You. And when you come get certified with me, you become one of our ladies of legacy. We have uh, online about 50 certified ladies of legacy. And now we're moving into that second phase called the original 100 of ladies who have certified with me online since the pandemic, since the shutdown, since you couldn't run to the church house. OK, we had to find a way to bring our ministries online. And if you have not been through a process of sitting with the call on your life to coach, with the vision God has given you, not a copy and paste model that you see other people do, not a guess in a Google search, not trying to come up with your own things. No, you've been patient. You've submitted yourself to sit humbly under the tutelage of someone who's done it successfully. 
and you've learned the model. There's a model to coaching that most people don't know if you just pick up the title and call yourself a coach. That leads to coach hurt. So here you are, someone who has church hurt. Now you're hurting people in the coaching industry. And I used to get so many of those calls, and now I know how to direct those calls and those callings, okay? But people would call and say, you know, I gave so-and-so $15,000. They said they could help me do blah, blah, blah. I'm disappointed. Can you please help me, Dr. AJ? And those calls would break my heart because here this person is now broke and broken again. And it's all because the person that they trusted did not take the time to do what the word of God tells us to do in the Bible, in scripture that says study to show thyself approved. And it's not fair. So my mission has become bigger than just me. It includes you too. You who have been through church hurt. You who have might have, you know, again, inflicted a little church hurt, a little coach hurt because you were guessing your way through this thing. Well, you no longer have to guess. I'm here, girl. I submitted myself for a doctoral level <laughs> intensive study over the last, since 2013, I've been in the industry, but I've been training since 2016, had hundreds and still having hundreds of conversations with people who know that they're called to coach. They think they've already been coaching without a certification, but then when they come study with me, tell them Coach Brenda if you're still here. She's one of our certified coaches. Coach Michelle Green, she's here, one of our certified coaches. Both, both black women ministers of the gospel, and they're like, Lord, I didn't know this was coaching. This is coaching? Oh, I had it all wrong, Dr. AJ. And so you come get educated because the Bible talks about my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Not only are the people destroyed, but people are destroying people because of lack of knowledge. So education is one of our core principles at the International Center for Life Coach Training, LLC. It's not about trying to look good online. It's not about social media influence. No, this is real work. Y'all haven't seen me on live as much as I used to be. I am behind the scenes getting the work in. I'm literally sitting in my car getting the work in on behalf of you and your future as a black woman, Christian certified life coach. So if you're considering coming to get certified with me, head over to futureblacklifecoaches.com. Join us in the upcoming five day future. Black Life Coach Masterclass. It is complimentary when you activate your VIP membership at futureblacklifecoaches.com. And you're going to hang out with me live in our private coaching community and get your questions answered. Anything you want to know. I have set the foundation, honey. The last two years, I have put my head down and got to work. Like Minister Prophet Kanye West talks about when you're working and you look up and you done made it. That's been me. Okay, that's been my goal. Let me share what I know, share my story of struggle and success, share my personal experience, share the stories of our coaches, share some of these conversations I've had, share about that coach hurt, that church hurt, share about what it's like to get from where you are to where you say you want to be, and then turn around and help your fellow brother and or sister do the same thing as a professionally trained, skilled, qualified, certified life coach. Because your healing is important before you go out and help. Because without a proper healing system in place, you end up still hurting people, even if you become a certified coach. So I'm going to talk about some self-care techniques that I practice. I have several coaches. I have been a part of a healing program for almost a year now to where whatever I wasn't fully delivered from, that God could get that residual out of the inside of my heart, you know? So I'm coming before you with a cleaner heart and a cleaner spirit, a more righteous spirit, but real. This is stuff that's never talked about in the church. You assume everybody in church is perfect and have no worries, no struggles. Y'all see these cute coaches here on uh, social media and you think they all got it figured out and you don't know they broke, they struggling, they are fighting with themselves and amongst each other because the healing has not taken place. It's time to heal y'all. Because if not, you end up bringing some of that toxicity, some of that abuse, some of that trauma over into the coaching community. And we don't need that. We need authentic, healing, real, truthful 
honest, transparent coaches who will literally extend their right hand of fellowship to their fellow man and ask them, so what's your goal in life? What do you want to do or want to be when you grow up? How are you going to get there? How do you think you need to reach out and get the help that you need? How can I be a part of that journey with you? That's coaching. It ain't telling people what they could have, should have, would have, ought to done. It ain't having people lay on your couch and tell all their business because, you know, our black mamas taught us not to talk outside our house, so it ain't teaching people how to talk outside your house. It is helping people heal. But how can you help people heal unless you're healing before you help? Y'all, this is a deep topic. My back hurting. Got to use the bathroom. I'm late to a meeting. And uh, I'm going to talk to y'all real soon in the Future Black Life Coaches Challenge over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. So if you got questions, bring them there. If you're listening this far, whether you're watching and listening or where you, whether you're listening and listening, let me know you're listening, okay? If you made it this far, you need to be over at futureblacklifecoaches.com because that means that you're really curious about coaching, okay? And I want to answer all the questions you have, so bring them at futureblacklifecoaches.com. Join us in the upcoming Future Black Life Coaches 5-day masterclass and challenge i'm so excited about this thing i know it might not look like it it might not sound like it i'm a little bit sleepy y'all see that glaze in my eyes Mm -hmm. it ain't donut glaze i'm tired okay so i'm gonna go (laughs) i have so much more exciting information to share with you so much more It's, it's like insider secrets okay And I'm ready to share that insider information. I'm ready to share this knowledge and my personal experience. And I'm ready for y'all to hear from some of our coaches who have been on this journey with me since we brought our training online. And well before that, we got some true OG coaches who have been on this healing path, helping themselves heal, helping others heal. And I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek of my documentary called Ladies of Legacy, a story of struggle to success. But remember, success is that last word. So I have a system that has successfully helped hundreds of coaches, y'all. If you want to be one, meet me over at futureblacklifecoaches.com. Fill out the information that it asks so we can chat. And I will leave you with this. Remember, there is someone somewhere and they are waiting on you, sis, to walk in your destiny. So they can walk into theirs because it's when you let your own light shine, you give others permission to do the same. And when you impact just one life as a black woman, Christian certified life coach, oh my goodness, you impact generations. Hopefully you're that one life that's listening today that I can impact because we're ready to help impact generations. I'll see you over at Black Life Coaches, futureblacklifecoaches.com. That's all I got. God bless. Bye, coaches.